Okay, so I've done a lot of weird things in my high school. And don't get me wrong, I know the amount of times I do the Devil's Tango. And honestly, I'm going to reveal my body count, but I'm not going to do it here. I'll only do it if you guys watch me live on Kick streaming, because that's the only time I'll answer truthfully. And yes, you guys will see me face-to-face -face answering the question. But going on from there, honestly, today's story is really embarrassing. And honestly, to this day, I still think about it and think there is no way I actually did that. So before the story starts, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's just jump straight into this. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to an insane story. So today's story is about how I got arrested in front of the whole school. And by whole school, I mean literally the whole school. It all takes place back when I was in high school. It was my grade 11 year, and I'm not gonna lie. In grade 11, the only things I focused on was doing the... Devil's Tango. And also, on top of that, probably just playing video games. And even though life felt really simple back then, there is one thing that every high schooler or any kid in school will go through, and that is peer pressure. Now, peer pressure, if you don't know what it is, basically, it's your friends and your other people, I guess, in a way, that you want to impress, basically pressure you to do something you don't want to do. It could be anything, from doing the ugliest girl in school, to kissing your friend's eggplant. Like, it could literally literally be anything. Not saying I've done those, but you know what I mean. So I remember one time back when I was in high school in my grade 11 year, I remember I was sitting in socials class just finishing up a geography map that we were supposed to finish. And as I was coloring it in, I remember a girl walked up to me saying, hey, Bubba, like I have a question. Yeah, what's up is what I said to her. Uh, you have a car, right? Yeah, what about it? Now, if you guys don't know, back when I was in high school, I started driving in grade 11. I got my first car and on top of that, I love that thing to death. And honestly, a lot of girls knew about my car because, well, let's just say it was one of the coolest cars to have in my high school. Don't get me wrong, there were cooler cars, but knowing that it was my car and it was iconic because I've done a lot of girls in the car, and by done, I mean, yes, doing the Devil's Tango. I will say this, a lot of girls knew me for my car. So I remember when this girl asked me if I had a car, I told her, yeah, like, what about it? Oh, like, I was wondering, like, can I, like, maybe see it? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I remember I ended up standing up and putting my map that I was coloring in in my backpack and i ended up basically walking with her all the way to the parking lot when i got to the parking lot i remember i showed her my car and i opened like you know the front for her to see the engine and one thing led to another she ended up telling me oh my goodness like this is exactly like the one my brother used to have oh your brother drove one of these is what i said yeah like it was like really cool like honestly i was super like jealous of his car and like he sold his but this one like looks so nice like i'm a big fan of your car oh thanks is what i said and then one thing led to another she ended up giving me her phone and I ended up putting my snapchat in there along with my phone number. I gotta say it is really cool to pick up girls in high school you know with a car but at the same time I mean what can I say it's just too easy. Going on from there I remember I ended up going back inside and she walked away from me to go to her next class. As for me I did the same. I went to my next class and I remember I sat down and instantly right as I sat down I got a text message. She ended up texting me saying oh like I just want to say like I really like your car and like also like you're really cute. I didn't want to say it to your face because I couldn't. Oh that that's fine. You're hot as well, is what I said. And then she ended up texting me right after saying, oh, like, so what are you doing after school? Oh, uh, nothing. Like, I have to go hang out with my mom. And I know that sounds cringe to say to a girl, but you gotta understand all girls love a man that loves their mother. This is true, and ask any girl you want. Unless she got mommy issues, then I could care less. But going on from there, I remember basically me and her, we were just flirting back and forth on my phone. And then one thing led to another. She ended up asking me, oh, like, okay, but um, I was just wondering, what are you doing at lunchtime? Oh, at lunch? Uh, nothing. I'm probably just gonna go for a drive and just go pick up food. Oh my goodness, can I come with you? Is what she said right after. Uh, yeah, sure, if you want. And I remember, as the day went on, lunchtime came around, and me and her, we ended up getting in my car and driving literally across the street just to get some Donair. I love Donair, by the way, and I would get it almost every day if I could. Actually, I prefer sushi. But anyways, comment down below what you guys would have for lunch. Going on from there, I remember me and her, we ended up getting Donair, and then we ended up driving literally right back to the school across the street. We got back to the school. I ended up parking in the parking lot and I'm not gonna lie, me and her, we were just sitting down talking about my car and I got to learn a lot about her. She was actually a really cool girl, but then one thing led to another. She ended up looking around the car and honestly, she was really fascinated by a lot of things and she was knowing things about my car that I didn't even know. Talk about being a car girl. 
and then one thing led to another the most embarrassing thing ended up happening where i remember she ended up opening my glove box that was in my car and she ended up finding a condom she looks at the condom and says oh my goodness like do you actually use this in here uh yeah i mean like have you never done it in a car oh no like i have many times just not in this car i've always wondered how it would be like i mean why not just do it right now are you serious like in the middle of lunch you're crazy okay and is what i said and then one thing led to another she got really close to me and we ended up doing the devil's tango in the back seats of the car now one thing about the car i have is that i have a giant rear view window meaning that my like back window is massive so if one person walks by my car they're gonna see exactly what is going down usually i park backwards when i'm doing the devil's tango but i guess you know i didn't have time to really move the car i guess and i remember we were doing it in the back of my car doing the devil's tango and as we were doing it i remember there was a student that walked by my car now at first me and her we just ended up freezing for a bit and then we just continued on thinking that the student didn't see anything but then after a while i remember i ended up hearing cop sirens come out of nowhere cop sirens came out of nowhere and i was really confused and looking around so was the girl by the way she had no idea what was going on and as we were looking around i remember i just see a cop walk up to my driver's side window knocks on it three times saying all right i know what you're doing in there can you guys please come out with your clothing on please i remember i ended up getting really embarrassed i'm like no way a cop just caught us in the school parking lot so i remember i ended up basically kind of getting my pants on as fast as i could and she ended up getting dressed as well and me and her we got out of the car and right away as i walked out of my car i looked around and i saw there were a ton and i mean a lot of students that went to my school looking at at me and my car they're all surrounding the school entrance looking at me taking photos of me doing all of that and i remember i was super embarrassed and the girl was even more embarrassed and then the cop looked at me saying uh is this your car right yeah it's my car is what i said and then he ended up saying well we got called and a complaint by three other people and your school as well you do know this is really immature of you right um yeah is what i said to him right after well the school has asked me to escort you out of here, so you're under arrest. Wait, I'm under arrest? For what? Is what I said. And then apparently it's illegal to do it in your car in public places. I didn't know that, but I mean, it is what it is, right? And then right after, I remember I ended up getting handcuffed and the girl got away. She ended up walking away slowly and all the attention was on me since I was the guy in the situation, apparently. And then I ended up getting handcuffed and I ended up going into a police car and my parents had to pick me up from the police station. Yeah, it's not fun getting arrested in your own car in front of the school and it was super embarrassing my advice don't do it in your school parking lot that's all i'm saying anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say just follow for more embarrassing but crazy stories peace out guys